Reagan just wants to say thank you. She has been in here working. So, how many mugs did we order, Reagan? How many did we sell? We sold a hundred mugs. We did keep a couple extra though, didn't we? We kept more than a couple. I think we kept five or six, just in case something breaks, and we'll get it sent to you. Now we actually thought that Reagan was going to be doing all of this totally by herself with a little help and some practice. But we didn't, in our wildest dreams, think we would sell them all in a day. Yeah. So we decided to help her. And, you know, moving forward, maybe we'll get an item that's in the store long term, like a t-shirt or something. Yeah. And then, you know, you can, if they sell, you can come in and do it. But you worked really hard. And Daddy's going to give you $100. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put $100 in your bank. And in just a second... We're going to go over there and we're going to click that button and we're going to give $115 to St. Jude's because not only did we sell the mugs, mm -hmm. but we also sold three Inaman pictures. Mm -hmm. And tell them about that. How did you make those? Well, first I just tried to copy the Inaman and mm -hmm. then color it. And then after that, I put another piece of paper over it and then traced that Inaman because I could see it. Okay, so you just drew the first one, just purely drew it. You looked at the Inaman and drew it and colored it. And then after that, you traced the one you had already drawn and colored it in. Yeah. Okay. And I think on tomorrow's show, I don't know when these videos, they're all going together in my mind. On one video, we thank, we thank the three people that bought the first three. Are you going to make a f number four Inaman? Yeah. And we're going to give all that money to St. Jude's, aren't we? At least for the month of May. And then maybe, may, how many anime, you think you'll make one or two a week and post them? Yeah. Okay. That's what we'll do. And we'll number them. We're on number four right now. So we haven't posted that yet, but maybe by the time you hear this, you might see it. Mm -hmm. So Reagan, I am proud of you for all your work. Was it fun? Yeah. What did you like the most? Um, I kind of liked packaging them all up and using the tape gun. <laughs> you liked using the tape gun. How about making the boxes? Yeah, that was actually pretty fun. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. Because you are way better at me at making these boxes. <laughs> so, what do you think? You know, we tested some out. You think we're going to have some break? I feel like one or two will maybe break. Yeah. And then what do they need to do if they it breaks? They need to take a picture and then show come up picture. Um, <laughs> and then we'll or they could send them. it to your Instagram. Yeah. She has a homeschool hustler Instagram. You can send it right there. Yep. That would be better. And um, and we'll send you another one. And we kept, uh, I think, six extras. One, two, no, we got five extras. <laughs> so we better not break more than five or we're in trouble. What if they all break? We're going to be out a lot of money. <laughs> well, we sent five out as an experiment, or four, and they all got there. So hopefully they will. <laughs> we'll see. Reagan, thank you for your help. Thank you for being a sweetheart. Thank you for donating your, your work, all of your work, for the pictures. The St. Jude's, a dollar of every mug. That's very nice. We're gonna shut this camera off. And we're gonna go over there and show. Them. All right, Reagan's gonna hit this donate button to St. Jude's, and just we want you to know that this is from you guys. It's not from us. It's it's from you. Every single one of these dollars came because of your kindness, and we appreciate it very much. So, the reason Blue Ridge Mama and Reagan came to this conclusion to give to St. Jude's in the month of May is because we have three children. And other than a broken arm, Reagan, and a little trigger thumb that Turner had, oh. uh, other than that, oh my goodness. Hi. Somebody came to join us. Other than that, we have very healthy children. And we know people who, who have lost their children, and we know people who have children at St. Jude's right now. Look at that cat. <laughs> <laughs> we feel very fortunate, so... We are going to donate to those who aren't as fortunate as we are. And I can't imagine a bigger um, burden to, to carry than your than your own child being sick. So, All right, Reagan, go ahead and push it. Thank you, everybody. All right, so we had one hater say we're not really giving money to St. Jude. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, hope, I hope people aren't that dishonest out there, that, uh, especially for such a good charity. So, we covered up our personal address here and information and there is our donation down here $115 and we even have a tax write-off you know <laughs> you gonna write this off your taxes little girl thank you Reagan you're welcome
Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are out here in the Commonwealth cabin and today is dedicated to getting caught up. So I have been running behind uh, two or three days on these videos and the reason is simple, I talk too much. And when we have 25 sales in a day, I'm gonna talk too much and the video gets too long and I can't put all the items on it for the next day because who the heck wants to watch 30 minute videos? And we've been turning out some long ones. So I've got a couple goals. One is to not talk so much today, not to tell too many stories. That probably won't happen because I'm already doing it. And my other goal is to get everything that's sold out with the exception of a couple of items I think that just came through so that maybe I can not film a video tomorrow and we can get caught up a little bit. So the other option is to put a video over there on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. So if there is an item that uh, you bought that you haven't seen a thank you for in the coming weeks, and you can't figure out why, maybe check that channel and see if there's a what sold video over there. And then I'm gonna take some pictures because I haven't got to all my pictures today. And then I'm gonna tell you what sold here, tell you what sold in the eBay cave, tell you what sold out of the Homeschool Hustler store. I think we have a nice gift that somebody sent us. Somebody else sent us something that we'll put on tomorrow's video. And one more thing, and I can't remember, maybe an update from Reagan. So thanks for joining us and let's take a look at what sold. All right, the first thing really quickly, I want to talk about it. it's in the garage flip drawer and that's why i wanted to talk about it so this is going to be my charger drawer i think and i have only transferred this one out. i haven't transferred it i took a picture out here i'm going to transfer the rest out here soon from inside but i didn't really want to talk about this item there's not much to it i think 987 free shipping nothing much at all but i wanted to talk about it because of the drawer it was in and just give a thank you to lonnie for multiple reasons, being kind to us on his show the other day and shouting out both of our channels, Commonwealth Picker, Commonwealth Flipper. If you came over from that, we really do appreciate it. And some of you came over from Lonnie a long time ago. So a big thank you to him for multiple things, including kind of leading the way for us. If you haven't noticed, we're in a shed and I'm walking around with a GoPro and we're selling coffee mugs. And at any rate, you get the point. So Lonnie, we do appreciate it. All right, we are going to now, I'm just gonna kind of speed through and see what's sold out of back there. And we're just gonna grab it real quick, put some music to it. And then I'm gonna have to take some pictures right here. And then we're gonna talk about what's sold. <laughs> You probably have not seen me sell one of these floats. This was a, well, I don't know. Saying it's a bad retail arbitrage buy is one thing, which it probably was. It definitely was. But we're still making money on it. So $2.50 is what we paid for these. You haven't seen me sell one because I don't think I've sold ones since maybe last June. And there was like four of you watching in May. So <laughs> we don't have many of these left. We sold quite a few at the beginning of last summer. But we're having a hard time selling them, to be honest with you. This one sold for $10.41. $10.71 plus shipping. That was 20% off to get to that number. So it, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. It's a Walmart clearance sale for $2.50. And I bought a ton of them. I think we have three of these left. And there's maybe a total of six left altogether. But they're perfect because they fit in a 1092, I think, perfectly. Speaking of bad retail arbitrage buys that I got bailed out on because of <laughs> because of recent events, this is the last Arizona puzzle. And that's awesome that these are gone and it is going to ship out first class. I just put bubble wrap around it. It's a real sturdy box. Put it in a poly envelope. I've sent out, uh, gosh, got to be three dozen of these now and no complaints about the packaging at all. All right, <laughs> the first bat sale of the season, which is a shock. Now, I don't have that many this year. I was only able to pick up four or five last summer, and we sold a couple of them, so I think I only have three. But this DeMarini Black, and it is not in great shape, it sold for $39.95 plus shipping, and I view this kind of as a, uh, it's like Noah, Noah in the Ark. I don't know which birds he sent out, the dove or the raven first or whatever it was, but he'd send out the birds and it would come back with nothing. Send out the bird, come back with nothing. Send out the bird. 
and it came back with a, a what a fig leaf I, I guess it was and that's what you have here here's the fig leaf let's hope this is the fig leaf the bat sail somebody is planning on playing softball in the near future so let's hope it's a good omen I can't remember exactly the garage sale that I bought this thing out. I can remember it. I just can't remember the name of it on the garage sale playlist. But we were standing in line outside of this big school rummage sale fundraiser. And when we got in there, it was clear that everything was picked over. And if you remember that sale, if you can put the, the title of it in the comments, I would appreciate it. I could look, but uh, I'm trying to speed up so I, so I can get caught up. And I picked this one up. I think we paid a dollar for it. I'm like, you know what? This thing will sell. I can't even remember the brand name here. But it did sell. Preston. Made in New England. <laughs> USA. And it sold for $10 plus shipping. So $10 plus shipping. A dollar buy. And so we're going to make like 8 bucks on this guy. Alright, we have a bunch more that sold today. But we're going to quick get Turner in here. Because it's getting a little late. I don't want him to wait too long. We're going to get Turner, maybe Reagan in here, although Reagan might need to give you an update on, on the coffee mugs. So we're going to get Turner in here, and he's going to show us what sold out of the Homeschool Hustler store. And then we're going to go back and look at a couple more items. We're going to go in the eBay cave. So let me go grab it. I'll be right back. All right, Turner, we had a sale out of the Homeschool Hustler store. Can you tell me what these guys are? Blaze. Blaze and the Monster Machines. Did you used to play with those? Yes. And they're like really big die casts, but this is a girl one, isn't it? Kissing Bear yeah. Truck. Did you ever have that one? No. No. <laughs> Mama bought these, and Blue Ridge Mama got a pretty good buy for them. I think she paid around three bucks for them. Sold for eleven ninety five plus shipping. And I don't think this went to a viewer. If it did go to a viewer, let me know in the comments. So, thanks. Thanks for joining us, Turner. Bye. <laughs> All right, I accidentally lied to you. Uh, last time I sold one of these, I said it was the last one. And then when I had pulled it, I had seen another one in there. So when I saw the other one that was in there, so I added one more to it. And sometimes I will do the quantity minus one just in case there's a return or something strange happens. Um, but I usually don't. I usually try to put the quantity right exactly where it's at so I don't have to go back and do something later. $9.95 free shipping on this and we paid 99 cents. All right, the WWF glass, vintage glass, 1995 Titan Sports. It's got JYD, Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan, and uh, Nikolai Volkov, Iron Sheik, and Rowdy Roddy. I actually went. My dad took me to a WWF event in San Bernardino, California at the Orange Show. If you got anybody out there from those stomping grounds. And we went and we saw, I think we saw, I know we saw Nikolai Volkov. I don't think he was tagging with Iron Sheik that night. But I toyed with keeping this for my brother and sending it off for, to him for his birthday. But uh, I think we passed for now and we'll find him something else. That's a great, awesome cup right there. And I think a viewer bought it. And I think the viewer's name is Amber. I don't think I saw a message unless you sent it somewhere else. And my apologies, but Amber, thank you so much for that purchase. I really hope you enjoy that. I'm kind of sad that it's gone. You know, I kind of get attached to some of the things that sit up here, and this guy's pretty cool. I could have it sit here forever. But I try to list most of this stuff. There's a couple things that aren't listed, but for the most part, they are listed. So, uh, by the way, Rowdy Roddy was my favorite. I'm not quite sure why he was, but he was. So $29.95 plus shipping, and that came from what I call the C-word sale. And we've sold a few things from that, and I'm going to show you one more in just a second. But that sale was on the Commonwealth Flipper channel last Wednesday, I think it was, just a couple days ago at this point. I think a couple days ago, maybe three, I can't remember, I get confused. And that one's over there, and we bought some cool stuff. And a couple more sales today went from that sale as well, so let's take a look at those. So we had a viewer buy this little key along with two other items, a Vera Bradley bag, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And this also came from the... The C word sale from the I think it's called No Garage Sales. These will have to do or this will have to do. It's a little private pick we did and spent 70 bucks and it made some pretty good money. This is um, there are some Cadillac keys. They look like keys, but they're actually charms. I believe they're I think they're gold or gold plated something. I can't remember. And I, I looked them up and the only thing I could find similar to it some kind of a a pendant. Kind of looks like a pendant or something you would hang. Some kind of charm you would hang on a necklace. And they do sell those like this, but this actually has the cut out of it, like it's cut like a key. So that's not what this is, although it is one-sided, not two-sided, which is interesting because keys are normally two-sided like that. And this went out to a viewer named Judy, and she also bought two other things. Let me show you those. 
she bought this brand new with tags Vera Bradley bag that we got from a garage sale. I think it was entitled fill a bag, garage sale fill a bag for five dollars and it was the one where we got the VHS from as well the uh I love hot moms sale. So that was a fun one. I think that's where this one came from. It was a really nice sale, but brand new, really, really nice condition. Uh, Vera Bradley purse. I think this was $29.95, retired bag. And we add that with the key. And then one more thing, which I'm gonna have to show you in a minute because it's inside. And it was from the Homeschool Hustler store, but it is still inside in the eBay game. By the way, I remembered and just looked up that other video that I was talking about earlier where we bought that belt. It was called Garage sale hunting for profit, and I'll try and link it back there. So you probably already saw the link, so I don't know why I'm telling you now. All right, here's a game I didn't even know I had. That, that's how much games are selling right now. Matter of fact, I think I have one, two, three. I have three games left, and I don't do a lot of games. I, if you've been around the show for a while, I've talked about I used to do tons of games. And one time I had one guy buy just 100 games for me. Bought me out, and I'm like, I'm done with games. And I was, but I still pick them up from time to time if they're decent ones. I don't even know where this came from. Must have been a Goodwill buy from Blue Ridge Mama, because I don't even recognize it. Twixt. So for twelve dollars and ninety six cents plus shipping for this one, and I don't think it went to a viewer. Hey, have an internet going out to a viewer says, "Hey, Kevin, been watching for a while, and I feel like." I had to say something sooner or later, so I guess I'll get this Enemann. I don't resell, but I'll put him with my Cincinnati Reds animals for good luck for the Reds if they ever play again. I really enjoy watching. Stay safe, and if you will, and the homeschool hustlers and Blue Ridge Mama, please assign him. I don't think I've seen where anybody has asked for Blue Ridge Mama to autograph, so I will. Thanks for keeping me entertained while I work third shift. You are very welcome, and thank you for watching us and thank you for the purchase. And we have had, I think there's been now three requests for Blue Ridge Mama to autograph something. One, I think just yesterday. And so you hadn't seen that, maybe it was two days ago, you hadn't seen that, but you will have seen it by the time you see this. So uh, thank you so much, Mike, we do appreciate it. And we wish, well, I guess he's not gonna bring you reselling luck, but we hope he brings you good luck anyways. After a day yesterday where I think we had one viewer sale out of 20, we sold a lot to viewers today, and we can't thank y'all enough. This one's going out to Corey. It says, fan of the channel, hope all is well, and sales are good. Saw this while looking through your store, which is a little ironic, because yesterday's show, which you hadn't seen when you purchased this, uh, I had pointed out this hat sitting back there. But he says, saw this while looking through your store to check out the WWF Cup. Rowdy Roddy Piper is one of my favorites as well. Anyways, couldn't live without this hat. So stay safe, Corey. Corey, that's awesome, and it is headed your way. It is in great condition. Looks like it's new and really has never been used. So thank you, Corey. We appreciate it. $14.40 free shipping, and we made hundreds off of the Dale lot that we bought. The Shark Tooth was the best one, um, but this is a neat one, and it's got the little uh, embroidered autograph there. So thanks so much. Got an man going out to Doug, got an man going out to a Michael, and uh, no comments from either, but if you guys are listening, thanks so much. This is a Sirius Satellite Receiver SV3R, if I remember. I've sold a few of these. Matter of fact, we're in the pure profit on this guy right here because we have sold so many of the components that came in that box. $15.95 plus shipping. Hey, double check when you get these receivers. Make sure they're not the kind of receivers that have an unlimited plan already attached to them. Just hook them up, see if they work. Make sure it's not one of the little free periods during the year that they put out. And occasionally you can, matter of fact, go. If, you're, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to eBay and look these things up. Look up receivers, lifetime plan. I think that's what they're called. I can't remember exactly what the terminology is. And you'll see. And if you find one like that, and my uncle has found a couple. I have only found one. I think he's found three. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down there, deals and dives. This one is not one of those, but it's still sold for $16 plus shipping. I've got one more sale, but I want to talk about one thing, and I mentioned it the other day. And Jeff at the Manitarium, Manitarium, he's the one that sent me the license plates uh, either yesterday or two days ago, probably two days ago now. And he told the story of his girlfriend who had uh, passed from, I, I believe it was colon cancer. And I thought it would be appropriate that we would sell this Inaman shirt. This oh, It's a scrub. It's an Inaman scrub. And we were going to make a donation in his honor to whatever cancer association he would like us to do that to. So let me know in the comments. Do you think we should just list this on CommonwealthPicker.com at a set price? 
and see who see who wants to buy it. If so, what price should we list it at? And we'll give all of the proceeds to whatever cancer association or really any charitable organization that Jeff would like us to give it to. So you contact me, Jeff, and let me know. Or the other option is to put it up for auction on eBay and see what we can get. You know, auctions on eBay sometimes don't end well. But uh, either way, you tell me in the comments which one we should do, and we're going to let Jeff choose where all that money goes to. By the way, this originally came from Patriot Picker. He gave it to me as a gift. He gave me two, and one of them you'll see inside the Commonwealth cabin over there by that back heater. All right, we have a board game, but this is a local board game. i got to get it upside down there, right side out. Whatever, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the game of Lynchburg, Lynchburg, Virginia, which is, you know, about 20 miles from here. It's just one of those local, who the heck knows who made this thing. But I have it listed on eBay. You know, I could have put this in my antique booth. It probably would have sold. But I doubt we would have got $15 for it in there, plus shipping. And this one actually went to a local, and I can tell by the message here. And this is to Jason. So, Jason, we appreciate it. He says, I hope to run into you at some more sales when this is over. And uh, definitely at some more sales. So that means we've run... Oh, this is Jason. I think I know you. Do I know you, Jason? I gotta remember that last name. I'm pretty sure we do. Is this the Jason that we ran into a couple times already? I think it is. At any rate, you let me know in the comments. I don't remember your last name. I don't think I ever knew your last name. So, at any rate, thanks so much. We appreciate it. And this is gonna be right off to you, and I'm sure we will run into each other on some sales for sure. All right, that's it for in here, and it's a good thing because right behind all this stuff here, is my AC <laughs> unit. Every time that thing kicks on, it starts making some noise. So we're going to go back out there and talk about one more sale in the uh, Commonwealth cabin with Reagan. I think we had another VHS sale and then we're going to call it a day. So thank y'all for joining us as always. And thank you so much for the support. We really do appreciate it. And we will see you next time. And I forgot to mention the other item that Judy bought. She bought that key, Cadillac key. She bought the Vera Bradley bag and she bought this Honey Nut Cheerios, Stacy Compton autographed sealed box cheerios i feel like mad at part-time pickers selling all kinds of stuff boy <laughs> any rate judy thank you so very much we do appreciate it and i didn't bring a homeschool hustler to say thank you and they're already upstairs so i'm gonna say thank you for them hey a really quick thank you out to tony and his lovely family and he sent us quite a few things here he sent us a washington plate and i used to live not too far away from there and I have been up to Washington many a times. Beautiful, beautiful place. Mount Rainier, right, that right there. And he does mention that in his uh, note as well. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Maybe you can pause it and you can read it if you like. It was a really kind message. And he even put a picture, which it is nice to see a picture sometimes with it. And the little club soccer team that he coaches as well. A sticker and some gloves. And here's the kicker here. He found... N95 masks at the ReStore, a stockpile at the ReStore. And he has been uh, giving a bunch of them out. And that's really, really kind. And he sent some to us. And he has requested we find the right home for these masks in our community. And that is exactly what we're going to do. And we do appreciate you so much. And there's your daughter right there. Thank you. A nice little shout out to uh, Amani. And I think you've, I think I've mentioned, I think you've bought something from us before. I think I recognize that name. At any rate, Tony, we do appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, we have Reagan, and looks like Boots followed her in. Do y'all notice every time the kids are in here, the cats and the dogs come too? All right, go pick up what's sold out of your store. That's okay. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty, and that one's new and sealed. We watched that one about a week and a half ago, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And your chicks are named. What are your baby chickens named? Maleficent, Aurora, or Sleeping Beauty, Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. Yeah. All right. Well, good. And those are on your Homeschool Hustler store, e or uh, Homeschool Hustler YouTube channel. Your little baby chickens you're raising, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. All right. We might have you back to give us an update on the coffee mugs. Yeah. But thank you so much for showing us what's sold. This sold for $4.99 plus shipping. I don't think it was to a viewer because I didn't see a message. I like your shirt too. Oh, thanks. I like it. Thank you. You're welcome.